out of nowhere, Hachime got ambushed by the demon we killed lover. Now, think about this. Can we even blame him? Because technically, he did just kill her. Now, of course, her lover is going to come to find us. We can condemn the, what the demon was doing. Actually, I don't give a shit because the hero party sucks. I just want Shizuku to be alive. But, like, it does make sense. And I'm like, should I hate this demon guy? No. Totally makes sense why he's fighting. It's not over yet, though. Tio got out safe. Hajime basically said, what did he say? He told Tio to give a message. I think it was something so simple and basic, like, I don't know, I'll be fine or, like, I'll be there sooner or some shit. But we're not done with the labyrinth. No, no, no. We gotta still clear it. The magma's erupting. What are we gonna do? Let's find out today's reaction, though. Tio's drunk driving right now. Big sandstorm, though. Yo, I'd be freaking out if a fucking dragon landed like this. But, you know, okay. He's fine. Tio put in a lot of work last episode. Ooh, Cowdy. The message. The message, relay it. Just a bit tired. This drunk drove here and just crashed. Still clearing the labyrinth. They're all dead. They all did. Here it is. The most generic one-liner. What was it? Well, I forget. What was it? Like, I'll be there soon. I'll be fine. See you soon. See you later. <laughs> Alright. No, Papa's stuck in the labyrinth. I just read this. She just called him Papa Hajime too. Her mom? Who's her mom again? Who's her mom again? I thought, figuratively, I thought Kaori or Tio was the mom right now. Anyways, okay. Yue? I don't know. Wait, what the fuck? How are we... I thought we were in a volcano. Okay. I'm a bit confused on how we left the volcano labyrinth, but sure. Oh, she sucked Shea's blood. <laughs> she's mounting. There's a Hajime there. <laughs> okay, she's like de-poisoning him. Detox. She's taking her jacket off. Hold up, she's taking her jacket off. What are we doing? What are we doing right now? She's taking more clothes off. <laughs> really? Right now? Uh, uh, okay, flashback time. Okay, so what happened? We were in the labyrinth. The magma was erupting. We get to the main room. This is where the liberator is. Time to learn a new ancient magic. Magic that controls space. Instant movement. Teleport? We can teleport now? I mean, this is teleportation magic he left behind, though, right? We can't just use it. It is kind of OP. Well, clearly we transported out of here onto that cruise ship in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> Ain't no way we're swimming. <laughs> He's actually still joking and Shea took it seriously. Yo, what the fuck? Oh, that's his ship. Okay. We have a different vehicle, an actual fucking Admiral cruise ship. Hey, yo, that shape. Bro, we might as well have a. Do we have a jet plane? Do we have like a private jet plane? This is just a ship, right? That's not good. Then get an eruption somehow. Wherever we end up. Hmm. But we were in like the ocean. Dude, they're just ride or die for Hajime. Okay, actual eruption that we're out. And it's just some random place. Also a submarine. With missiles, right? Yep, yep. Yui's magic. What happened? Was that too much? Okay, it's just too much magic. Shea? What are you gonna do, though? Oh, just drink more. Show me it. Show me the Shea fan service. No, don't skip it. Yeah, she must have drank a lot of blood out of her. Jesus, she's knocked out from the drinking the blood? The jacket conveniently covering her ass. Hello. She's up already, so perky. 
You can come join us, Shea. Come on now. She is so durable. I thought that she's not supposed to wake up for a long time, but you know how she is. Hey, where are we? Got a lot of fish to eat, though. Yeah. Future sight. Oh, merfolk? Huh. Are they kind of like muse people? Let him finish his meal, come on. Let him finish his meal. Wait, is this cannibalism? If we eat the fish in front of them? Like, if they were to eat the fish, would it be cannibalism? I mean, we stole Mew! What the f- I- Jeez, it's so racist even between these, like, beast species, like... Dude got turned into a skipping rock. Mew! Got you. Did Tio just drop her from the sky? And Cowdy's here, everybody's here! Now we don't need to teleport, we can just fucking fly. I can't believe Tio just dropped her. I mean, it's gonna be safe landing, right? It's for this, but imagine we don't catch it, she just fucking douche run into the ship. The merfolk are all dead. What's wrong? Like falling from the sky? <laughs> He's so easy going around at Mew. Alright, alright. I shouldn't be mean to Kaori. She cares a lot about Hajime. Uh oh. You and Shea gonna get jealous. May you and Shea should start crying. If Origami was here and he was comp she was competing over Hajime, she would start crying right now. Fake tears. She's kind of being like Hakari right now. Oh. Hello, boobs. But what? Did we get that close all of a sudden? The reward will be neglecting you. It's crazy that we just have this cruise ship. I wonder what other vehicles that uh, Hajime has. I'm expecting like a rocket or some kind of like jet plane. Edison. This is where all the merfolk live. But we have Miu, they should trust us, right? What about that girl? Yeah. Remia's daughter. Ma, her, ma, her actual mom is here. That's what Tio meant. How did Tio know, though? She's gotta be a MILF, right? Mermaid MILF? Oh my. Oh, I just realized he's not a merfolk because he doesn't have the, the thin ears. So. Technically, if he's dad, and you know, there's mama, then Hajime, and the new mama, you know, you, you know, hmm, a new addition to the harem, maybe? You know, these girls shouldn't be smiling. A new competition is showing up. An actual mom. Huh? No, Mew's here? There's mom. Mama! Basically, just grown up Mew. No. We, 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 we brought a papa, huh? We brought a papa here. But does that mean Mew's just gonna stay here? How does that work? I thought Mew's just gonna be with our party, but are we just gonna drop her off? Alright, he healing potion, healing potion. Papa. Papa. That's right, Papa. That's right. Arara. That's your new husband, yeah? Not you! None of you, dude! You're not a papa! All right, it's time to raise the mom up too. <laughs> Hello, I am Papa and your mama, and together we are family. Oh, carrying her like a princess. <laughs> oh God, but how is this gonna work? We're not gonna bring her along with us too, right? Remarried. Seeing some, I don't know how this works, man. Oh my God, you see those toes? The toes are still there. Oh my goodness. Oh, I thought we would just sprinkle the, the potions out of the bullets, you know? That's how we heal everything. Either they have really shitty doctors here, or Kaori is actually like a, a goaded priest. Uh, saved her in a slave auction. Because we are the father that stepped up. Step Papa. Where did her actual dad go, though? <laughs> and like... Are we gonna take the mom with us, or do we just leave Mew here? It's one or the other. Okay. 
No? Oh, come on! So, dude, those people are still eavesdropping. Hmm, guilt trip. Where are you going? Papa, are you gonna get milk? The last time my papa said that, he never came back. <laughs> okay, she approves. But what does that make us? I mean, if we're papa, then what are you? Because you're a mama, you know? Forever. What do you mean repay with your life? <laughs> I mean, we have plenty of girls, bro. What's another one to join, bro? Five years. What happened to him? I guess he's just dead. We forget about him. <laughs> Fuck her long lost dad five years ago. <laughs> Give up. Okay, we're back at the, the hero party. I actually love it when we go back to this um this group. The princess in Shizuku. And the bully was also getting um coerced by some deep oh. Goddess of Plenty is back? She's back. <laughs> she moves it dead. Hajime <laughs> executed him. Yeah, and we're Papa now. Yeah, Mew. His previous self? I don't think so. He's just living his new life. Why are you blushing like that? Hold up. Yeah, even Shizuku's like, hold up. What the fuck? Hold up. Wait, what are you, wait, wait. You're a teacher. <laughs> I think she's also part of the harem. Yeah, I had a little talk. I don't think, I don't think they fucked, but there was some... No, no, there was, that was not a typical student, you know, teacher relationship. No, 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 no. Good. These idiots, bro. We save your fucking party and they call him a heretic. Perfect. Now, you know what this means? They're going to come after us? Gives us a reason to fight back. Yeah, he saved everyone here. He's fighting on behalf of the church. But then again, maybe the church is starting all this shit. Because the demon did call himself a apostle of God. Who is this god, though? The same god that the church worships? Hmm. Almost like they're not really good people. They're probably all controlled by the demons, too. Who should I be more sus about, the pope or the king? Probably both. Should you tell the truth? This is some important shit. About the liberators, the truth about this world. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Shizuku! She gonna learn? Hopefully there's no spies around or this room isn't bugged, but the moment like the church realizes, oh shit, well that's the episode. But like, as I was saying, like, I thought initially when they said that they, people viewed the goddess of fertility as a bigger threat than the heroes, I assumed immediately that the, the discussion with Hajime got leaked, you know, the discussion about the truth of this world, about the liberators and the mavericks, about how they're actually good people, but they got gaslighted and the church and, you know, they're worshiping some kind of false god. Now, if she tells Shizuku here, doesn't that mean they all get threatened? Dude, I don't think the rumor, I don't think they completely are aware that the goddess of fertility has this knowledge, but I expect it to get leaked pretty soon. But regardless, this is great because Hajime needs a reason to fight back because he's not going to go after them themselves. Like Hajime is completely content living his life. But if someone were to come and try to threaten his life and his, you know, his wife, then he has a reason to fight back. And Hajime getting you know, um, labeled a heretic is perfect for that. So future episodes, Ooh, we gonna be eating good. More revenge, please. But hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.